Today we're going to talk about personal portable firearm storage, specifically this little lockbox from Tuffy. Uh, before we do that, though, a quick tip and maybe maybe it's a reminder that anytime you're dealing with a portable uh, security lockbox safe, you want to make sure that it's secured, it's tethered, it's anchored down, because if that little portable safe is, well, portable for you, it's portable also for a thief. This right here is the portable safe for compact handguns from Tuffy. Now, right off the bat, just want to point out, this is neither waterproof nor fireproof. And to that, you're going to want to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to give you three criteria that you need to pay attention to when you're looking for a personal security device. Now, I'm no expert when it comes to metal as far as gauges and stuff like that. So can't tell you what gauge metal that this thing is made out of. I can tell you that it is pretty doggone solid. It's pretty robust, uh, including the design of the all metal hinges on the back. This little safer lock box uses a three number little combination lock. There are no biometrics, no electronics from top to bottom. This thing is completely mechanical. Being the compact handgun version, this thing has a fairly small footprint and it is also fairly thin. It's not very thick. Uh, overall dimensions on this thing, roughly about 10 inches by seven inches by about three inches. And that three inches is including the locking mechanism. This particular uh, little uh, lockbox, little safe slides very comfortably under the seat of my wife's Kia. Now, as far as the internal storage, uh, roughly have an area about seven inches by six inches on the inside. Uh, it fits my Kiger 9C Pro super, super comfortably inside. Uh, and with all the padding, the foam padding and everything inside is going to make sure that whatever firearm you're storing in this thing, it's going to be safe and secure just in case this little safe, this little box gets rattled around a little bit. Now, in regards to the tip I gave you earlier, this little lock box, this little safe comes with a one eighth inch cable. I think it's like a two foot long cable uh, that you can attach to this thing and then anchor, tether, secure that uh, in place so that you can't just pick this thing up and walk away with it. If you think you might be interested in one of these little safes, I will of course make that easy and have a link down below. Before you click that link though, let's go over the three criteria I think is important when we're talking about a personal uh, security, personal storage device for your firearms. Uh, obviously size is going to be an issue. Uh, not only do you need to pay specific attention to the overall dimensions based on where you're going to primarily keep that storage device, uh, but also the internal dimensions depending on what you're going to store inside of it. Next, depending on your needs, you want to choose the right style of locking mechanism. Uh, if uh, that little lock box, if that little safe, the little portable storage device uh, is not going to be used for an emergency quick access style situation. Maybe it's just used for temporary purposes inside a vehicle, something like that. Then you might not need biometrics or something that's quick access, but that's something depending on your specific need that you really need to pay attention to. And you want to choose a portable firearm storage device that offers the right type of protection for you. Do you need it to be fireproof? Do you need it to be waterproof? That's probably going to depend on where it's primarily going to stay. Uh, or is the security from theft or unauthorized access going to be enough? That's going to be my three criteria for picking a portable storage device for your firearms. If you've got any suggestions to add to that list, by all means, Drop those down in a comment below.